Rangers. Hill, more experienced, is the taller of the two. But uh, a very, very even, evenly matched and intriguing fight. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, this is semi-final fight number two in Jason Zaidi's King of the Ring eight-man eliminator series. We are at the welterweights tonight. This fight is scheduled for three three-minute rounds of action with an extra round in play in case of a draw. It is sponsored by Elite Grooming Crew. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. He enters the ring wearing black trunks with white trim. He's a former NZWMC light welterweight and honor four-man champion. He now has 30 wins, 13 losses, two draws with nine big wins coming by way of KO, representing Smack Jim. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Sam the Shake Hill! And his opponent fighting out of the red corner, enters a ring wearing black trunks with white and red trim. He's the current NZWMC and WKBF South Pacific welterweight champion, representing Strike Force. He now has 21 wins, eight losses, one draw, with four big wins coming by way of KO. Introducing Insane Kane Conlon! Three three minute rounds of action when the bell rings, referee in charge is the Rebel John Conway. Come in, guys. <coughs> All right, guys, we've been over the rules, so you know the rules. Protect yourselves at all times. Listen to my instructions. Obey my instructions when I call break. Stop throwing, you step away from each other until I say fight. Shake them up. Best of luck, back in your corner, out of the bell. Get out. Wow, the crowd is poised on the edge of their seats. They know they're about to witness something very special. Sam Hill in the black and white. Kane Conlon in the short black and red. Exchange of lead hands and leg kicks. Dan Hooker, very interesting fight ahead. Yeah, I'm very familiar with both of these fighters. Uh, Watch for two very opposing styles. Uh, you'll you'll be able to observe that Kane likes to set up his kicks using his punches. So he likes to throw punches first and then dig those low kicks in. Whereas Sam is the polar opposite. He likes to lead with his kicks to set up his hands. So it makes for a very exciting matchup. I think uh, of the two of them, I think uh, Conlon's a little bit more educated with his jab. He's got a little bit more movement in his repertoire. But. Uh, Sam Hill, very, very tough, and he is relentlessly fit. That, uh, that right kick, I think, uh, might have got his attention there. Narrowly missing with that knee up high, Kane Conlon. And again, knows when to throw the hands light to set up something big. Yeah, very good footwork from Kane. He keeps adjusting his angles after. Uh, Sam is famously known as a pressure fighter. He likes to come forward, put his opponent in the corner. So Kane's doing well. He's scoring with his shots, but he's not standing there. He's staying on the move and he's adjusting his angles after each exchange. What uh, Sam Hill needs to do is find a left hook there or, or find a left kick just to stop him from angling off and bring him back into line. He can't just follow in a straight line because uh, Kane Conlon's walking him onto a right hand as well. Caught him there with a little half left, left up cut. But Conlon's still picking him off, working those leg kicks well. Tried to fire the left hook, but it was too short. Keeping it long, Kane Conlon as well. Check that one well. Missed with the overhand, but coming close back. Selective with the shot. Oh, he's hit the leg. Kane Conlon's lead leg has been hurt. And it looks like he's going down. He's going to have to do some work to survive. Oh, he's heavily hurt that leg. Kane Conlon, he's in trouble. Deep, deep trouble. 
When you chop the tree, three, the body will go. Five, six, seven. Wondering whether it was the knee or the cork thighs that did the damage. Well, the bell came at the right time. Sam Hill, he was falling behind in that round, but uh, the eight count secured him a 10-8 round. Interesting stuff, Dan Hooker. I didn't see that coming. Yeah, uh, Kane was doing the best work when he was on the move, uh, but this this damage to his leg has severely impacted his, his ability to move. So uh, it's, it's not looking good for him in the second round. Uh, Sam is a fresher fighter. He comes forward and he leads with that low kick, so it makes a very difficult job for Kane to, to get on the move and stay on the outside in the second round. Yeah, and it looks too like the, the, it's really up on the thigh. Really cracking the lead quadricep, and uh, it does paralyze you. It's not actually the leg that's hurt that gets that collapses, it's the rear leg. That's the danger of the eight man. Uh, three fights. This is the second fight that might have been damaged uh, from his first fight from old Big Nick. Yeah, well, he's uh, trying to shake out that lead leg. And we know that that's something that Sam Hill will continue to throw. Well, beautiful work there with the uh, body work too. Conlon though, he's need, going to need to pressure Sam Hill a little. He chopped him down. There's a big one. Kane Conlon, I think he thought he was okay. I don't think he was all there again, though. Just didn't quite know where he was. It was the lead leg that opened him up for the straight right hand. And as Dan Hooker said in the first fight, he varies well between the straight right and the leg kick. Yeah, beautiful fight. Uh, Beautiful work from Sammy. Uh, he set that up well. He came out very composed. He knew the right leg was injured, so that sets up the overhand right. That's where he does the best work, his right low kick, and he mixes that up with that beautiful right overhand he has. And it was timed so beautifully, too. He threw it in between shots. Caught Kane Conlon trying to come in with a right hand of his own, beat him to the punch. And we're just awaiting the formalities from Lieutenant Dan Hennessy. Well, that sets up a cracking final. Josh Masters versus ring, Sammy Hill. Ladies and gentlemen, with 28 seconds gone in the second round, your referee, the Rebel John Conway, calls a stop to this contest. For your winner by TKO, and going on to the finals, fighting out of the blue corner, Sam the Shaq.